Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right, awesome. So I'm going to show you how to send out a broadcast email from Infusionsoft. So you're going to find your email. Let me actually back up. You're actually going to go to, um, currently we're putting all of our emails inside the campaign section. And in order to find the campaign section, as you already know, you hover over the top left nav, and then you click Campaign Builder, and I know you already know that. So once you click the Campaign Builder, you're going to want to uh, select maybe even Think Realty and just grab it here or um, type in just the word Think Realty just to easily find the campaign. So once we open up this campaign, we will see that we have, we have two uh, sequences in here. And all the emails are inside of these sequences. So we're going to have to click again. So let's go to the solo email ad for the one-off emails, or we can also go to the newsletter sequence for the newsletter emails. So we'll just click in the middle of this, and it will open up that sequence. Now that we're in that sequence, we are going to go to the Ignite Funding email. So we're going to open that. And then we're going to build out our email. So we have built it out, we have tested it, and now it is ready to go. First thing you want to do is click Actions and click Save to My Templates. This is very important when pulling it up within the Broadcast Builder. So Save to My Templates. We are going to put a name on it. Think Realty Solo, solo Email Ignite Funding 7-18-2019. Cool. And then we're going to click Save. Awesome. So you can see in the bottom left, Successfully Save Template. Okay. So now we built out the email, we have saved it as a template, now we are ready to schedule the broadcast. So let's go and do that. So we're actually going to leave this campaign builder that we were in, and we're going to go to the email and broadcast section of the software. So we're going to go back to the home screen here and you'll see that it has email and broadcasts. So we'll just click that. And we are going to click get started. Once we click get started, it will say, hey, what email do you actually want to send to your peoples? So we are going to actually go to my templates and the latest template that is saved is usually the first one that appears in this search. And here it is. So we're going to double check it with the preview. Hey, is this the one? I don't know, let's check it out. So you can view it on a mobile device on the right and then you can view it how it looks on a computer on the left. Hey, this is the right one. So we'll click Use Template. So any final modifications can be made here if you really want to. Um, shouldn't be necessary because we already did that in the campaign. But in case somebody needed a minor tweak, it can still be made I guess at, at, at this time, right? So you've made your final tweaks and you're ready to send it. We're going to click details and we are going to verify the sender. We're going to make sure it's from Think Realty and then we're going to make sure it's from the appropriate email address. That's not the right email. Hey, that's why we hey. check. <laughs> Does that look good? You want mail or just Think Realty? No, just Think Realty.com. Perfect. And that's another reason to check. Perfect. Info at thinkrealty.com. We're going to click save. And we're going to just verify the subject line. We're going to verify the preview text. And then we're going to send ourselves a test. Do you have to? No. But I, I do 100% of the time. Uh, just to make sure everything looks good because this is the last step until you actually send it to everybody. Right. So I click the test button. I punch in my email and I click send. And it's kind of glitching right now. It's kind of in a weird trance. All right, there you go, just a little delayed. Test email sent successfully. Great, so I have viewed the email. It looks good on my phone, it looks good on my computer. Now let's send it. Here's where you clarify the recipients. So who are we gonna send this to? Well, let's send it to all Think Realty contacts. If that's the case, then you would just select this one. And you can actually put in here um, a tag name as well. So let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to send it to everyone yet. 
Uh, let me find a really small list. Uh, <laughs> email typos. You know that won't go through. All right, let's just do that, just to be super safe. Okay. Okay, so this is the individuals who we're sending the emails to. By the way, on a side note with We Deliver, once that is ready to go, you're just going to go to Recipient Options, Email To, and click Save. That's it. Done. Okay. I got this. That's awesome. How I, I awesome. So that's actually how you send to using We Deliver. So again, the We Deliver email is located in email address too. Just make sure you select it and you're good to go. Awesome. Okay. So now we are ready. So let's click Review and Send. No. This does not send the email. This just says, hey, let's go to the final screen before you send it. And here's your final screen. By the way, these were email typos, so we may not get um, the most positive of announcements here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, cool. So this says, hey, just letting you know, nine people won't get it. And if you want to see why, it'll show you a status. Okay, set the best time today. It's pretty cut and dry. It, it, it defines what that means. Sending now is just blast it right now or schedule for later. Hey, we actually want this to be sent uh, next Wednesday. Great. You select next Wednesday and then you select your 2 p.m. or whatever, whatever time zone you want, and then you click schedule. Or if you want to send now, you click that and click send. Um, simple as that. Yep. Right? And that's how you send yeah, a broadcast. Got it. Because awesome. I just want to like. I thought it was different than the way that I do it currently, but... Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay.